sing. You should ask. Right. Uh, uh, well, I have some, but basically I don't sing. I don't call sort of ooh, 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 la, 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 singing, you know. I mean, I, I just sort of get hung up on instruments because uh, through the Nazi, I played an awful lot of instruments. And uh, th that's quite a full-time job, sort of keeping your head clear to sort of go from dancer metal or the harp to piano to organ, guitar and things like that. Well, now, you picked that's up all this along, like haven't you? I mean, as you went along, didn't you just... Most of it, but the thing is, uh, I, I have some... Um, I can draw on a quite... Um, an extensive amount of musical training uh, to play these instruments. I played keyboard instruments from about the age of four and then forgot everything. But I mean, it comes back when I sit at the piano and so it, it does start to come back. And then I studied uh, clarinet and saxophone from uh, the age of 13 until 19. And sort of that has opened a lot of uh, new possibilities as well, you know. Um, Actually, there is uh, some saxophone on the new album, although it's very difficult to tell it's a saxophone because we call it in such a way it just sounds like a song. Sort of, you know, it doesn't really sound like saxophone. I'm interested in how this is all put together. That to me is incredible. Like with the last album, uh, all of these fantastic sounds yeah, well, and some magnificent it's instrumentation. Really, it's really like sort of. Um, got together chaos. It, it's, you know, because uh, we all sort of panicked a little uh, when even bef even as soon as a month before the, re the release date that we uh, had planned, we really hadn't got anything together. We had all these great things that we did, but we couldn't possibly put out an album, so we had, we just uh, got them together and did a little bit of editing here. Very little, actually. We just uh, uh, sort of strung them together with... Uh, with um, more instruments and uh, on top and voices and everything and they really were because when people might think about that album it's I think it's very valid as a comment on the Rolling Stones as they were in 1967 and we really did have a tough year with one thing and another and uh, so we were a little freaked out and um, it's a very tangential sort of uh, progress. So this album represents a sort of progress along a tangent. You know, um, what we're trying to do now is to get back into orbit, uh, so that we can be, uh, we we can see and recognize the reality that we uh, are evolving around. Because we can never really be a part of that reality. I don't think after what we have been to, we can never be a part of that reality. And we don't want to be a part of that reality. But at least we can we can see it as it is and comment on it. No, I understand that. Um, so, but what happened with the last album was that we threw off an attention right into outer space, and so we were a little lost. We were commenting on things that we didn't really know. We had feelings inside of us, you know, brought around by, you know, what you could call it persecution, if you like, or you could call it, uh, like, some personal misconduct and, and the consequences thereof. Whatever, however you, you, you approach it, and however it's uh, acceptable to other people to sort of, you know, I mean, that's why I like to sort of give alternative points to you, because it's either one thing or the other. I mean, it's not about any persecution. There. <laughs> there was meaning, I know, to a lot of people, including myself, uh, even if, if you say you did go off into a kind of a chaotic process, a lot of things. You know. it's, it's really, I mean, it's all, I mean that, that cat who wrote in uh, Newsweek, uh, Jack Crow, is it Jack Crow? He wrote it. Um, all the might appear to some to be a little pretentious, the review he gave us in the New Year issue of Newsweek, it was very beautiful, it was very nice to read, I read it in Salon, I don't know if it was just out, and, uh, no, it was the New Year edition of Newsweek, uh, New Year's Week, that's <laughs> what, Newsweek, right, um, yeah, and, uh, but, he, you know, he was really hung up on that thing with someone together and called the Stravinsky-esque, and uh, lots of other very sort of, Maybe pretentious, but I don't think he meant to pretend to be an epithet. Similarly, uh, I'm very grateful to him, and because it was written, I mean, when I I don't think personally it was I, I, pretentious, but I have heard comments, you know. Yeah, I'll be there in a minute. Um, That's really what you can say about it. It's, you know, people are digging it. It's doing, uh, it's number two at the moment in the States, I believe. No, right. It can't be bad. It means that people 
realize what happened to produce the state of affairs, you know, whereby we were recording such weird, you know, it's like, oh, it's almost a non-album. You know what I mean? To negativity dump for you. Really <laughs> there's so many, there's so many different things. I mean, I mean, negativity uh, dump for you, too. I mean, really, you know, you've got to get, got to get back in there and sort of, as I say, revolve around the reality that we know is there. We, we know it's very important to be able to comment on it and to see it. We can't go so far out the, you know, I mean, that's just sort of, like a one-way journey to flipping out, you know, that's no good. Where do you think you're heading now? Do you have any idea? Well, we're heading back into orbit. Back into orbit. Yeah, but I mean, you know, that, that, that's a very, very loose. You know, it's just little analogies I'm using, you know. Right. Um, it doesn't mean to say that we're going to go back to what we were, because we couldn't. I mean, after experiencing the things we have, and after having played and produced the records that we have, we can't possibly go back to that. But we can go back and get the funky, essential essence, you know. And, and still use um, any sort of developments that we might make you know, sort of to advantage, you know. So bring everything in, bring everything in.